Well. Oh yeah, it's something on it. It's something on it. It's something on it. Pull him in, pull him in, guys. Get him in, guys. Well, did we stir him up? So that was def on, Yeah, we just put one on it, and it's yeah. it that's definitely got oh, a fish yeah, on swimming. it. Oh yeah, boys. Is this supposed to be leaking all this fluid? Now I don't remember y'all how last spring exactly went. I don't remember it being this difficult to head out and get uh the target species that we had out there and get. But obviously we had some success finally, but that's not how this started out. It actually took three fails in two different days. And then two days after that, I finally went out and we had some success, but uh, it all kind of started where I wanted to go try and get some of them cichlids. So I headed out to uh, City Park right there in New Orleans at uh, Bayou St. John to try and get some cichlids. That, uh, that didn't turn out too well. So on the way back, I ended up stopping at a park by my house to get some uh to try again and i managed to to squeeze one of them out of there good old sickly baby perfect 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 hopefully there's a mess of them down there yes all right we're gonna get this guy oh, no, 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 get this guy on the stringer and hopefully there's a mess of them just chilling right underneath that cord Cause this is exactly what we're looking for. All right, Let's see if we can't put them on this side. Oh yeah, strings long enough. There we go. What are we gonna tie it to though? Mm. 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's gonna be good enough. Well, can we stick it right here? Well, hopefully, hopefully that'll do. All right, let's see if there's another one there. Oop, right away. Yep, there's gonna be a mess of fish underneath there. Find one big enough. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Oh, it's a perch. That one's too small. I'm gonna throw him back. All right, buddy, be free. We'll grow some more. Thank you. I mean, as soon as it hits the water, they they try to get it. <laughs> I just need some uh some six to grab it though. Got a bunch of little small perch. Oh. Oh, 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 that'll work. Need something bigger than them little baby perch to grab it, though. They're not even big enough to hook themselves. Come on. Come on. So in the midst of doing that, I uh, got a text from Jared from outside the levees. If y'all ain't checked out his channel, y'all make sure y'all go do that. But uh, he was asking me if I wanted to go nutrient hunting at night that night, and I figured, well, wasn't doing no good anyway, not catching much. So I took my one little cichlid and I went home, grabbed my stuff, and then we headed on down to uh, the Jared's house. And uh, we went and tried that. All I'm doing right here, y'all, is putting some salt in this flour. Make sure we got enough. Hopefully not too much. But I don't ever imagine nothing because I'm not really going off a recipe because uh, all I did was look at a few... Uh, a few recipes online not recipes but little videos and they didn't tell me how much so i'm just trying to go trying to go with it the way i might like it so you're gonna put some salt and pepper in this here flour mm -hmm. a little garlic powder Woo! a lot of garlic powder and some paprika just like that and then i'm gonna go ahead and mix that uh mix that up we're gonna dip this uh dip this fish and uh, get it all nice and battered up before we before we stick in that pan over there. Did I get him? Oh. Did I? <laughs> I had a hard time seeing because the light's flashing back at me. Oh, How 
was he not? All right, we got that butter and that little olive oil heating up. Go ahead and toss these battered pieces of fish in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this in one go. So you see, we didn't have that much success with the Nutra, but I took my two Nutra and my little cichlid. And uh, the next day I headed over to Lario Brothers over there in West We Go to get me some, uh, some, some, some supplies to do some crabbing. So I called up Frank and I went meet him out there at the spillway. To do ourselves a little bit of crab and see if we can get them to bite oh coffee is a magical thing i tell you what all right guys we're at it again time to do some crabbing it seems like we're getting further and further away from the house started right there by the bridge by my house worked our way out still ain't found the crabs not running like they need to be so got the nutra going on uh three of these and i got a piece of fish going on the other one just in case these crabs don't like nutra but i don't understand why they wouldn't because uh i mean they they, they bite on chicken and this looks like chicken looks like chicken to me so go ahead and load these up i got four nets and i just bought another dozen from Alario brothers over there in west we go there was a, that link will be in the description below. If y'all want to check out their website, they got all kind of good stuff. And then, we're just going to try it out. But if, if they start biting on these, then we're going to put them other ones out. But first, it's going to be a little test run. Alright, well, we got an empty chicken bone. That means uh, somebody was crabbing and it looked like they were doing pretty good. Could be a good sign. Here's another bone. All of these lines right here, that, that, that's how you know. That's how you know it's a spot where people crab. <clears throat> Just hope they're biting right now. Because the problem is I've been going places where people crab. Been going places where I catch crab. And we just ain't catching crab. That's probably not a good sign. There's a big old dead fish right there, and I don't see no crabs chewing on it. So I got a fingerprint on the lens. There we go. All right, we're here for the crabs, but uh, I'm still looking for crawfish too. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss something right up in here. Ooh, what was that? got these little crawfish traps right here that I'm gonna toss in there oh look at that Nutra turd sitting on the bank right there let's have a couple of them hanging around right, I'm just gonna toss this come on now come on now there we go try and get that out there let us see it I just got a little cichlid in there a little piece of cichlid All right, put that one right there and then I'm gonna head over there and put another one. Cause I've heard tell they had crawfish around these parts. Not sure exactly where. All right, round one, here we go. Man, that wind just has never laid down weeks. There was, looked like a fish or something was on that swim off. Neutral. Neutral. <laughs> Ain't looking good. No. Well, somebody had something that got eaten. All right, well, we still haven't found a crab, so we came to uh, this little spot over here to try and catch some bait. Uh, with the cast net and frank with a big old grin on his face is telling me to pull this crab line and grab my camera so let's see what let's see what's about to happen here
Oh, snap. They got a hook on there? I don't know. But he's on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a log hook to it. <laughs> and then the log started to leave. Just trying to see if there's a... I don't think it's a hook. I think he no, just swallowed just... chicken. I don't know, buddy. I'm trying to help you out here. Besides, he wants to watch. Well, I'm not sure what's got going on there. His teeth are pretty messed up. Look at the bottom jaw. He ain't got no teeth in the front. Yeah. Uh -huh. Best I can do, buddy, is cut you loose. <laughs> yeah, it was tight. I was like, oh, it's a log hook to it. The <laughs> log swam. <laughs> I didn't have any of the slivered almonds, uh, or little shaved almonds or whatever you call it, but I did have some whole roasted almonds and I ended up chopping them up. Didn't feel like going to the store. Who knows if I'm going to regret that or not. Ooh, probably going to need some more butter, but I'm putting it in some melted butter. Matter of fact, let me go. Yeah, definitely going to need more butter. Let me grab some butter. Hold that thought, y'all, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cook that down a little bit. But as you could tell, we didn't get no crabs, y'all, but at least we got to rescue an alligator so the day wasn't a complete waste. But then uh, I called up a couple of my partners and was like, you know what? Been having some success with the catfish uh, there last month. So I was like, let's go try that again. So I grabbed my partners. Well, before I grabbed my partners, I went to a ditch, threw my cast net to see if I could get some bait. Yes, find something. Here we go, finally got some bait. Let's throw this bass back. I don't want him to be in here. You go grow some more boys pretty, huh? Ah. That didn't work. There we go. You can see him flickering. All right, so we're on our way to go do the jug long. You can see it right there, but I want to stop right here and we're gonna throw a crab trap out or two just to see if these crabs started rolling yet because uh, we ain't been able to find them. Ain't been able to find them here at home. Ain't been able to find them in St. Bernard. But I really want some crab. So we're gonna throw this out here. We're gonna let this soak while we out there doing the jug lines for the catfish and we'll pick it up on the way in. That way, if we find them, then we know we can come back out here and get some crab. Throwing out the trap, we're just gonna put one chicken leg in here. We're gonna save the other chicken legs because I actually brought some crab nets. We're gonna try where we're doing the jug lines because you gotta run those. This you can just let sit. My bungee's not working real well, so I had to put a, a wire tie on it so the bait don't fall out. I'm just gonna toss it right there. And we'll come back and get that one. All right, number two. See what that do. Go catch some catfish. All right, we made it to the first spot, y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and put out like four or five right here. And we're gonna go further down. We're gonna put the rest of them out and we're gonna sit over there. 
do a little rod and reel fishing, put a couple crab nets out, and then uh, wash the jugs. All right, just making sure that wasn't too deep. All right, that's one. This here is like a pumping station, I think. Something like it. I don't know, but it's kind of deep right here. That's why I want to put it by here. And they got some structure right there, which they tend to like. Oh. All I'm using is some shad that we got out of the ditch. There we go. Oh, come on now. Get your stuff together, buddy. There we go. Make sure it don't get in the mortar. Clear. I think you got it. Gary can do. We in gear or no? Yeah. Okay. Right, so. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now you was clipping to this eye hole right here? Yeah, there's just like a on the brick, yep. There's just some little clips. You're gonna have to force it on there a little bit because the clips are a little bit smaller than they probably should be. Nope, so you just all you gotta do is squeeze it. Oop, oh, oh, no, oh, I'm tangled up. Yep, there we go. Yep, you just take the clip. And it just squeezes like that. Hook that on there. Okay. Like this. And you're gonna have to like push this to clip it because okay. it's a little tight. And that's it. And when you throw the brick, you just you can throw the brick and hold the noodle and it'll Until just it, and when it hits the ground. Unwind. Then, yep. And then make sure that weight is at the top of it. Correct. Okay. All the way to the top. Any special way of hooking this? Nope, just put it in the room. And cap, yep, and the catfish is just gonna suck it up. Toss it in. There you go. Oh. Let it rip, tater chip. Bleep it. All right. So we got all the jugs out. Now I'm about to load up these crab nets. I got four crab nets. And we're going to stick them right here close by us. And we'll check these every now and then just to see if there's going to be any crabs out here. I don't even know if I'm keeping crabs unless we get some big ones and they, uh, you know, they're running pretty good. But right now, I'm really just testing that out to see if we got some around here. We're we going to keep crabs. We, all right, well, Gary said we keep it crazy. He said, you ain't, you ain't throwing back no crabs. <laughs> I got you, bro. I feel you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Now, one of the last times we was out here, and I pulled up a uh, a jug line that had a crab on it. So that's why I'm I'm hopeful that they might have some crabs up in here. Before I, before I even turn around, Gary's like, we need to make sure he gets his uh, sure. he gets his hands <laughs> clean, bro. I don't want no chicken oh, juice. We'll Let me stick that. this in the ice chest there. Uh, yeah. You might want to open the ice chest too, because I know yeah, Gary don't I want no chicken that. juice on the ice chest. There Everybody's we go. going home healthy today. <laughs> Physically, anyway. Yeah. All right. Now we could just go somewhere up in there and let's anchor and we'll uh, cast some lines. I'm going to put... I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put a shad on this shark rod right you know, This gigantus rodicus. And then oh geez on that went right through. Gary, that is a good looking shirt you got on oh, right there. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, well, that's man. a nice shirt you got on too, man. I yeah. really like that. You no. Know. 
I try. I try. So I got all the jug lines set out, all of the uh, crab nets set out, crab traps at the other end. I got two giant fishing poles right here, fish in the bottom. Me and Gary got corks in the water, and Dean's back there practicing his uh, fly casting. So uh, we got enough enough uh, irons in the fire. Is that, is, that a, uh, is that the right usage of that expression? Probably not. Yeah. But anyway, we're just going to hang out. Uh, enjoy each other's company, probably make fun of each other a little bit, and hopefully we can get something uh, biting here soon. But it sure is a pretty day. <sighs> Nothing on the poles, guys. We got a uh, one bait missing off of one, but my cork went under once, but that was it, man. I'm having a hard time navigating these boats with steering wheels, I'll tell you what. Let's check this crab net. Can pick it up? Yep. If I can get to it. Pull it hard. Pull it fast. Pull it fast. No. Ah, well. Oop, I think I'm going in reverse. Yeah, I got a little too much rope on that, but no. God, dog it. Man, y'all bad luck. Oh, got another jug standing up over there. God, dog it. <laughs> get your sea legs, Garrett, get your sea legs! <laughs> oh, I see another one standing up. That one might actually have one across the way. I thought I saw it move just now. Come on, baby. Give me something. We need something. Oh, something bit it. All right, well, go ahead and uh, put a, put another one on that. You can just drag it. Well, that's something. At least uh, something, 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 something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's standing. Let's go see. Oh, it might be. Oh yeah, there's something on it. There's something on it. There's something on it. Pull him in, pull him in, Gary. Get him in, Gary. Yes. Oh yes. There you go. Finally something. Something's happening. Oh yeah. Bust out the old handy dandy ugly stick multi-tool. Uh, uh, look at that. Come here, Bubba. Yes. Man, I ain't never been so happy to see a catfish in my life. Yes, indeed. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, I didn't bring a towel. Oh, well, that's what shirts are for. What you need? We need to throw him in the ice, Jeff. Yeah. You want to weigh him? Or... Oh, yeah, let's weigh him. Shoot, why not? We got a scale now. Power is zeroed out. Come here, buddy. Let's see how much you weigh. What you think, Gary? Uh, 15 pounds. 10. Come on, you know. Come on, lock. There you go. 8.28. All right, we can throw him in here or what? Guy, man. This is uh, ready for fish or is this a... Uh, yeah, yeah, throw it in there. You want to feel that one move some water? No, he's fine. Got that live well. All right, cool. We got something to cook, boys. Come on, Bubba. Nothing. Well, something grabbed it. Something did bite it. Yeah. You lose your <laughs> I just launched that shad clean off of it. I am not used to these uh these what, rods. What pound braid you got on there? This is 150 pound toe. <laughs> <laughs> but that broke. Yeah, pretty much. It feels yeah. like kite string. That's rope. Oh. Go, go, uh. gadget arm! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, instant reverse is fantastic. <laughs> Come on, you got it. And oh, the stolen one, man. What's the deal? Man, he's supposed yeah, to get off of that on circle hook. 
probably the crabs that aren't biting in my net, sitting there eating the fish off the uh, jug line. Come on, yeah, get it right, get it right. Oops. Man, I gotta get better at getting closer, huh? No, that Not one just, even. something bit the face off it. There's gotta be a crab doing that. Oh, oh, ah! And nothing. All right, that other one was definitely dancing though. Come on, girls! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Ooh, we in the mud. I'm gonna get the net ready. I see. He must be wrapped up. See how he's, uh, looks like something float. floating. He must be wrapped. He must be wrapped up on that. Unless something was eating him. Huh? Yeah, he's, he's struggling. Let's see, I'll get it with this net. Oh, he's still awake. He's, just he's still awake. Ooh, that's a good uh, one. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, we got another one up. Yeah, uh, try and get us my bottle back out. That way we don't. I'm used to my mud boot. We can get all the way into the bank. Mm. And used to this fancy, fancy, fancy Mercury outboards. And it moved. That was the one that we had. Oh, Whoa. Well, did we stir them up? So that one's we definitely. Like on. Yeah, we just put one on it, and it's yeah. it. That's definitely got oh, a yeah, fish on it. Oh yeah, boys! Got something going now. Yeah. Sometimes it be like that. They just get all stirred up. Got me stirred up. But there's definitely one on it too. Yeah, he's still on that. He's still on that. Come here. Little bitty guy. That's all right. Ooh, they eat too. Reverse, they, hit, they eat too. Reverse, reverse. Nothing wrong with that. Shoo. Oh, here, open that. Toss this bad boy in there. I'll toss a fresh one on there. Since they got hungry all of a sudden. All right. Do, do you have any like stingers or do I got their any, fins? Just the pointy things on the. This right here, but these it. are so dull. All like right. when they get big like that, they mm -hmm. get dull. Look, the big ones like that. If you're throwing them back, you don't want to grab them like this. Okay. But right here, you can just grab them right here. It's like a little handle. Oh. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, oh. I wouldn't do that if you're throwing them back because you might mess up their gills. Let's go check them out or two that jumped up since we passed them. Mm, nope, we didn't dip. Nope. Huh. We might have just, uh, yeah. Oh, oh that one's got one on there. He's moving. Ooh, what if they almost went under? Yeah, he's not that big, though. Oh, no. Now, see, when it jerks fast like that, it's usually a smaller one. A big fish will just take it slow and steady under. I'm not saying he's gonna be small like that other one, but he ain't gonna be like a 20 pounder. Look like you're trying to pull that noodle off. Yeah, see? I'll tell you what, let's just do this. And this one's already ready already. Alright. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. What that is? Is number five? Uh, yep. What's wrong with that? Alright. Nope. Oh. Nope. That's just the brick. Alright. Come on, crabs. Ooh. Oh, uh, I think you just sucked it up in your motor. Maybe. No, I felt it. Let me get this fly right Yeah, and I'll make sure we don't hit this. Oh, man, that was my good net. That was my good motor. <laughs> Actually, it don't look too bad. Looks like we can just unwrap it. 
Hey, go put the anchor in so we don't have to worry about running into stuff. Gary? Oh, it didn't mess up my net. We good. I don't know if that's going to help or not. Yeah, that ought to work. I ought to be able to get that. Look at that. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that, or do I have to turn the, hello. Okay. Might need to do the, the net. Huh? Always something, folks. Got to embrace it all, though. It's all part of it. We get to tell a story now, later on. Remember? One time he came out, he broke my trolling <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's uh, break the back motor. <laughs> yeah. If I can find that clip, I'm putting it in this video. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, when you buy me another one, I want to get it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we went out. Me and, matter of fact, it was the last time we tried to do uh, jug lines. We, we put did, the jug lines. And then I broke his trolling motor, which he he, he fixed and didn't charge me. Nice, nice guy. And uh, hopefully I don't have to charge him for this crab net that his motor tried to eat up. <sighs> Man, that's really on there. Actually, you know what? We could just cut this off so we ain't got to... Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Come on, drop it, drop it. Probably need to pull this GoPro off my head before I lose that. All right, grabbing that's good. Put the knife back before I drop that. Man, man, man. There we go. Okay, okay, it's coming undone. It's coming undone, we're getting there. Is this supposed to be leaking all this fluid? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Gary. He's like, you want to change this oil. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're all good, brother. Yeah, we have to just take, kick it out of gear before we get to the trap. Not a daggum crab. That's ridiculous. Camera on. But uh, we got one. Maybe we'll have some in the traps on the other side. We won't keep the crab because I'm scared Gary's going to shoot me if I throw a crab back. Yeah, we'll just toss them in your boat. Come on, come on. I know what I'm gonna do with him. You, you want to grab raw chicken? I'll fling it at you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> come on. Later, Gator. All right. Come on, big money. No. Hey, gummit. Oh, we ain't doing a crab video anytime soon. Can I get one crab? Nothing. All right, we back at the house since we didn't weigh this boy. I want to see how much this one weighs. The other one was what, eight pounds? Yeah. Let's see if we can grab him. What you got on this one? Uh, 12 and a half. 13.6, so a lot closer on that one. I'll close on that one. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I showed this last time, but I'm going to go ahead and show it one more again. How we like to bleed the fish before we uh, before we clean them. So I'm just going to poke a hole in the lips right here so I can put my hooks in them. Each one of them. The little ones probably aren't as necessary, but I'll definitely like to do the big ones with it. Help keep that meat clean, a lot less blood in the meat, a lot less fishy taste. Tastes good. Take some hooks. Like a niece. And like a niece. Hang them up. Switch to black and white because YouTube don't like the pool coming out. 
I'm gonna grab it with a pair of pliers. Just gonna cut these two. Well, I got that. some chicken while you do that thing and we'll be back to food. a little bit of lemon juice in there and then later on I put some uh some parsley in there I don't know why I just just thought it'd be a good idea I sure hope this tastes as good as it looks and smells y'all mm. mm. I put a lot of that on there because I like that Tough go, but I stuck with it and we made it happen, y'all. Now, before I leave y'all, I've been reminded of something these past few days. If you know somebody who's struggling, really struggling and going through some hard times and you don't know what to tell them, don't worry about that. Sometimes just being there for them will make a world of difference. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you on the next one. That's good.